Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at the truth about clothes moths. Contrary to popular belief, the common clothes moth, clothing moth, or to give it its street name, Tineola basilielia, doesn't actually eat clothes. In fact, clothing moths don't even possess the ability to eat. They don't have a mouth. Once they become a moth, rather than waste their time eating, they simply mate. The female lays her eggs, and then they die at some point. This means that the most damage to your clothes you could realistically expect from an adult clothing moth is a stain if you go postal on one with a newspaper. So, how did these moths get associated with eating clothes? Well, it's the moth's babies that you need to be wary of. These are able to get proteins that they need from keratin in organic fibers. And boy, do these things have an appetite. They can eat and survive on virtually any natural fiber. They're known to eat wool, cashmere, silk, cotton, linen, furs, feathers, hair, lint, carpets, the bristles of brushes, and even pet fur. On top of this, the larva will, if no food is present, cut, not eat, through certain non-natural fibers like polyester, to reach your ever-dwindling supply of wool underwear. You might be wondering why, at this point, if the moth smelled a sweater in a wardrobe, but why would it choose to lay its eggs on your favorite mankini? Well, this is because the larvae and moths are actually drawn to the moisture in certain clothes. The larvae must get the moisture they need through their food. Thus, clothing moths and their larvae are also attracted to dirty clothes, in particular ones dirtied by sweat, as sweat contains not only moisture, but salt and other minerals that the larvae need to survive. This can sometimes mean that the eggs get laid on non-natural fibers that the larvae might not be able to derive nutritional value directly from. Incidentally, the fibers the larvae do eat eventually also end up becoming a part of the cocoon that it spins for itself so it can become a moth, at which point it will stop having to eat sweaty boxer shorts and get down to the much more fun act of mating. If their voracious appetite isn't bad enough, the larvae are also notably hardy and difficult to kill through indirect means. For example, the larvae and eggs of a clothes moth can easily survive temporary temperature extremes as high as 50 degrees Celsius, that's 122 degrees Fahrenheit, and as low as minus 8 degrees Celsius, that's 17.6 degrees Fahrenheit. As such, if you're interested in murdering them, it's recommended that you expose the larvae to such extremes for at least half an hour to really make sure that they're all dead. Incidentally, the old adage of using cedar trunks for storing clothes to keep the moths at bay actually works somewhat in the right circumstances. But why is this? Well, that's because cedar oil kills the larvae. However, as cedar ages, the concentration of oil in it fades, and with it its ability to murder moth babies. Lacking a cedar trunk, there are several more sophisticated methods for dealing with moths on the market. Our favorite being a pheromone trap that coats male moths with a powder that makes them appear female to other moths, effectively condemning them to a life of being unable to breed. This method is for the especially cruel individual who doesn't want to kill a moth, but rather force it to commit suicide through soul-crushing inadequacy. But the bottom line is that the clothes moths themselves aren't doing the damage to the clothes, it's their children, which is also typically true of humans. So, I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. I'd also like to thank our patrons on Patreon. If you're interested in supporting us with a small monthly donation, please consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash today I found out to help us out. We've also got loads of cool perks lined up over there, so do check that out. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy. And as always, thank you for watching.